trailer. Trailer. This is what we call the bug head. Or the, uh, there's another name for it. Um, the bulk hat and, oh my God, what's the other name for it? Um, I can think of the other name. All right, so this is my bulk hat, the, which is the front of the trailer. This is the strongest part of the trailer because we don't want any packages when you stop to fly through it. Okay, so this is the strongest part of the trailer. My bulk hat, it is in good condition. I don't see any holes, I don't see any damages. I can see that all the rivets, all the rivets are present. Um, my uh, clearance light, it is in good condition. It's amber in color. It's no, it has no cracks, it has no damages. It's got good clarity. It's in good condition. Now we're going to go to the side of the trailer. I don't see any skin, I don't see any new skin damage. The reflector tape is present all, all across the trailer. It is in good condition. Now we're going to talk about my landing gear. My landing gear frame has no bent, has no damages. I don't see any legal welds. It is in good condition. It is securely mounted. The feet on both sides, the feet of the landing gear are present. They're securely mounted. They're in good condition. I don't see any damage. My landing gear handle, it is securely attached with all the hardware present. It is in good condition. I don't see any damage to the handle and it's a good working order. Now I'm gonna check underneath the trailer. Underneath the trailer we what we call what, what we call the cross members. The cross members on the trailer, they are all present. They are in good condition. I don't see any holes underneath the trailer, what we call the undercarriage. My undercarriage is in good condition. I don't see any any holes, I don't see any damages. My left directional is amber in color. It is in good condition. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any damages. It's got good clarity, securely mounted. My airlines, my airlines are in good condition. I hear no leaks. The airlines are not dragging on the ground. They have no uh, bridge budgets or cuts. Now I got what we call our, my tandem. This is my tandem release. It's in the lug position. How do I know it's in the lug position? Because this pin is coming out. If you didn't see this out, that means this is on lock. So that's how I know it's in the lug position. The handle itself is not bent. It is not damaged. It is securely mounted. It is in good condition. Now we can talk about my spring hangers. So my spring hangers on the front and on the back. Both of them are securely mounted. I don't see any damage. I don't see any cracks. They are in good condition. This is what we call this bar right here. Uh, what is this called? Uh, control arm? Huh? The control arm? No. The... Uh, Oh my god, I'm gonna have to come back to this one. I'm sorry guys. I can uh, drag link. I the, wouldn't do that. Uh, it's not a control arm. Tie rod. No, it's not a tie rod. Uh geez, if I can even think of the name right now. Just it just I might just went black for that one. Alright, I'll come back to this one. Just remind me, okay? Okay. Alright, so now we got our brake chambers. My brake chamber is securely mounted. I don't see any damage. It is in good condition. The clamps are present. Remember those clamps. See them right there? The clamps are present on both sides. My airlines going to the brake chamber are in good condition. They're securely mounted. I hear no leaks. I don't see any abrasion budgets or cuts on the hoses. Right behind here, 
There's my slack adjuster and my push rod. They're both present, in good condition. I don't want to have more than an inch excess play when the brakes are released on the push rod. Um, again, remember you're talking about only one side, so you can either talk on this side or you can talk over there. You can refer to the brake linings, minimum of a quarter inch, no cracks, no contaminants. They're securely mounted. My brake drum, which is that big old piece over there, brake drum has no illegal welds. It is in good condition. It's securely mounted. My springs, all of my springs are present. None are missing. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any damage to the springs. And again, the spring hangers on the front and the back. You gotta talk about both. Front and back spring hangers. They're in good condition. They're securely mounted. There's no damages to it. There's, there's no cracks. I'm gonna talk about the tires. All sides of the tires, they have no abrasion budgets or cuts. There's no fabric or cord exposure. I have a minimum of a 230 second tread depth and I don't see any uneven wear on the tires. There's no stop, there's no stones on the breeze in between the tires and the tires are also butted properly. They're not touching each other. Because what happens if they touch? They can cut on fire. So you want to make sure that they're butted properly. Okay. Now we're going back to the rim. The rim is in good condition, properly mounted, no illegal welts, no cracks, no damages. My lug nuts, all of my lug nuts are present. They are in good condition. They're tight. If I see any rust streaks, it would indicate looseness. My metal bass stem metal cap is on the inside and I got a metal bass stem metal cap over here on the uh, outside tire. If I need to check the tire pressure gauge, I mean, if I need to take, check the tire pressure, I use the tire pressure gauge. Here's my whole boil. This one, it has a bad leak. That's not good. And I can see it over here, you see the glass? I can see that it still got some oil. So I will have to take this to the shop for them to fix that and put some oil and replace the cap or do something with it, okay? Yeah, because I think that thing is just loose. All right? Again, you're only talking about one axle. You're only talking about both. My mud flap. My mud flap is securely mounted. It's in good condition. I don't see any damages. It's got all the hardware present. It is not dragging on the ground. That's the main thing, no, no touching the ground. I got an ABS light, amber in color. If it doesn't have an ABS light, you don't have to talk about it. But if you see it, you gotta talk about it. It's securely mounted, it no, has no cracks, no damage, it's in good condition. My marker light, marker light is in good condition. Securely mounted, red in color, no cracks. No damages. Again, we're gonna talk about the reflector tape. Now, sometimes from the front, you can't see everything that you can see from the back. So I usually get back here because it's easier for me to see a lot of stuff from over here. All right, so you can get over here. See, I can see my spring hangers from here, both of them. That's my spring hangers, front and back. You got the springs, the springs right here. You got the U-bolts. So I didn't talk about the U-bolts and bolts over there. So now I'm over here, I can't remember to talk about it because I can see them. Okay, I got my U-bolts and bolts right here. My U-bolts and bolts are present. I don't see any damage. They are in good condition. Here's my push rod and my slack adjuster. Remember I talked about it? They're behind the, the, the brake chamber. You got to remember that because that way you can say it on the tractor if you don't see it. And then you got your brake linings and you got your brake drum. Uh, so you can see a lot of stuff over here. You can see all the air lines going to the brake chamber. So you can talk about it from here. My air lines are in good condition. I don't hear any leaks. They're securely mounted to the brake chamber. Okay, so it's a lot of stuff that you guys can see from here than you can, than, than better than you can, you can see that uh, doing it from the front. So 
when you talk about it over there, also get over here so you can see, make sure you got everything, okay? Because you only have to talk about one axle. So you don't have to talk about all of them, just one, front and back. And then you get one section only. It could be this side or it could be this side. I don't have to talk about both sides. It's only one, okay? All right, let's step out, let's continue. We're gonna talk about the mud flaps. All right, we're gonna continue to the back of the trailer. At the top, I got three ID lights. I got my brake lights. I got my left, my right directional, my left directional, my four-way flashers, and my tail lights. All of those lights I got over here. They are all securely mounted. They have no damages. I don't see any cracks or damages on all of the lenses. They seem to be in really good condition. I can see the reflected tape at the top, center, or middle, and below. The tape is present, in good condition. The cables on the door, cables got good tension. They are in good condition. I don't see any damage. They, be, they just seem to be securely mounted. I'm gonna open the door to make sure that the trailer door works properly. Make sure it goes up and down, up and down properly. The door is in good condition. I don't see any damage to the door. I wanna make sure that I put the safety chain. All right. And that's pretty much the end of the trailer.